I hope that people reading Fly will understand the elements of resilience and that again it's knowledge, training, experience, teamwork, leadership, crisis management, decision making and risk. These are all separate fields that we need to master if we totally want to be in control of our destiny. And it is personal or can be personal even down to the fact that 50% of people are not resilient personally because they get divorced. Now I know that marriage is a necessity in some cases and can't be avoided, but many marriages do cease just because people don't understand the effort that they should, if they put the same effort into their marriage that they put into their business, if they change with their partner, much the same as we have to change and modify ourselves in our business. If we put the same effort into our marriage that we put into our business, marriages would be more resilient and we would save the emotional and financial trauma of divorce. So the lessons of resilience can apply to our children. How do we expose them? We should expose them to risk. We should teach them how to fail well. Many children have been brought up to never fail. They've never experienced it. And so they don't know the, the introspection that can take place when that happens. And they don't know, learn how to fail well. And fail well means when you fall down, pick yourself up, learn, adjust, change, and try again. All the successful people in the world will tell you that they got there by failing along the way. Yet we're bringing up children in many areas where we tell them that failure doesn't exist. So children must be able to identify, rate, and live with risk, which means they have to learn to fail, and fail well, fail fast. And if we do that, then our children will be brought up to be resilient adults. So the application of FLY is broad, from your children, through your marriage, your family, and of course in businesses, uh, either NASA, military, finance companies, it's all the same.